Hi, I'm Sean from Thompson Air Conditioning. I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a proper flare fitting for copper refrigerant lines that are going on a mini split condenser. So first thing you want to do is clear your area, make sure you got a clear working space. I've got one of my lines here prepped already, so I'm going to be showing you guys how to do it. First thing you want to do, make sure you get your brass flare nut off of the condenser onto your copper. So you got to thread that on. Get it pushed back far enough out of the way so you have room to get your flare kit on it. Second thing, take your deburring tool and you're going to ream out the inside of the copper. And what that does is it clears out any rough spots on your inner edge. So that way you can get a proper flare and it'll sit onto the flared end of the condenser properly. You always want to make sure all the reamed out pieces are out of the copper. That way you don't have anything in the lines that shouldn't be. Now with our Black Magic flaring, or Black Max flaring tool, you got all your gauges, all your different size coppers, and you've got your little slide gate. So this is 5 8 copper. So I'm going to get it into the 5 8 port slide my gate that way I know that's my depth meter I'm gonna get it pushed all the way up against and slide the flaring part over making sure that it lines up properly with the with the line that corresponds with the proper copper size tighten it down make sure it's nice and snug and I'm gonna start flaring it just got to spin these in and it has an automatic clutch as you're spinning it that won't let you over flare the copper. So it'll disengage right there. And then you can back it out. Loosen it up, slide it out, open it up. Take your flare gauge check and should go into the first line. But not through it. That looks good. And then you're ready to land it on the condenser. That's it. I'm Sean with Thompson Air Conditioning.